Okay, today we're looking at this Defender Security, and it kind of came open already. So, and is that already scratched? It looks like it already is is, is kind of scratched. Well, that's <laughs> or is that from the is that from the casting or the the manufacturing process? I'm not entirely sure. I haven't read the instructions, so I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how to open it yet. Pop open, you put it on your door, and it actually secures like this up against the door. You put it on the door frame, and I thought that that was pretty nice. It's $10, right? It's a very, very inexpensive door lock. We can look at the construction quality here. Seems to be relatively okay. Again, uh, you know, it's not like the greatest. If that looked a little bit more secure in there, it almost looks like the uh, central pin there. Uh, could have a little bit more play than I than I'd like, and it seems like decent quality. Uh, I got to admit, again, <laughs> not thrilled with the packaging. The fact that it was already kind of like this when I literally opened it up, and Am Amazon just kind of shipped it in like a little plastic bag. I don't love that. Okay, but anyway, what does it say here? Resist up to 800 pounds of force. Yeah, it looks like that might actually be in the locked position, technically speaking. If we look at it from <laughs> this direction here, because I've seen a lot of these locks on Amazon that actually come with really, really short hardware. Now, the point is, let's see if we can open this up really quick. If you had just small screws like this, for example, you would have really no issue just pushing through that. It's why a lot of people recommend that you replace the screws on your door's hinges, you replace the screws you know, essentially anywhere you can insofar as the door is concerned because these tiny screws, well, you can see here, you put force on that, it's gonna wanna play and it's gonna wanna come right out of the of the wall. Which by the way, my experience with, with screws and hardware on Amazon has not been great, I'm not gonna lie. It has a tendency to wanna snap, okay? Uh, if it's really cheap, but if it's a better quality screw, then it's gonna wanna bend and it's gonna have more play. So if someone even presses on that with a lot of force or they kick the door, you're gonna have a bit of play, a bit of bend. It's gonna kinda maybe pull out a little bit, but the difference is, is, is obvious, okay? There's gonna be far more security with something like this, it's gonna be far less likely to back out. People have a tendency to just wanna put these in with an impact driver. Uh, if you're gonna do that, you really wanna pre-drill the hole first because they're relatively long. You don't want to split the wood, split the door frame. Actually, I actually have another wood screw here for comparison. And it, it's a little bit shorter, okay, than the screw that, that does come with the product itself from Amazon. Now, I don't know for sure which one I'm going to go with. Again, I just, I don't really trust Amazon screws a ton. So anyway, there's a bit of a size difference here. I do like that they've included these, but overall, uh, I'm, I'm mainly more interested in the installation, right? Can something that's this inexpensive, can something that's this cheap, you know, $10, but can something like this actually provide some sort of security? That's, that's going to be even... Uh, acceptable, right? Or is it just going to be a piece of junk? All right, so if you want to unlock this thing, essentially what you do is you pull back on it like this. See, it pulls away from the sort of central hinge, and that's in the unlocked position. To lock it, you simply snap it into place. Quick and easy, very simple, uh, and this thing would butt up against the side of the door. So really, it's it's not overly complex. Um, doesn't need a whole lot of force to pull out. Again, that could probably be lubricated if I had to guess. That would, I think that would make it quite a bit better. Uh, yeah, I, I don't necessarily love that swirl right there. It kind of looks like the Nike swoosh, if you will. Um, but, <laughs> you know, it's acceptable. It's, it's all right. This, to me, seems silly, because if a lot of people are going to be putting a lot of the, the force right here on this area, right, and they're going to be kicking right here, if they can kick the bottom of the door out around the hinges, which is why strike plates that are larger are, are, are also great, by the way. It's not going to matter if this is so high, right? Because if they can kind of torque the door out at the base, well, that's going to be a concern. So most people, they're going to be kicking right in this range, right about here. I'm honestly going to aim for right about here in this sort of sweet spot, uh, kind of keeping it as close to the, the sort of general strike plate as I can. All right, so one thing we have to talk about next, and this is probably more important than really anything else, You've got to think about fitment. Now, fitment is essentially how you're going to get this item to fit correctly in the door frame that you're choosing. What we're going to want to do is actually see if we can slide this in. All right, so here's the issue. We've hit a bit of a snag. Now, it's probably not going to surprise anyone that was watching when I was first talking about the fitment. And that's a problem because if you are going to require this as a secondary sort of stoppage, the person will have already broken through the door anyway, right? This is to reinforce that initial push that the door might experience if someone is trying to break in. So I'm going to need to actually clear that out. Uh, I've marked it for the correct size. 
And I am, I think, just going to go ahead and use a, a, a chisel to take care of that. Now, it's already been, obviously, offset a little bit from the frame, so that's a, that's a plus right there. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and get that done. There we go. Now you can see it's been changed. Now, I want to talk about this. This is actually uh, an indentation I cut out with an oscillating tool and a chisel. That's going to make it a little bit tricky because I'm going to have to mount this with the door open and that's going to make it a little bit awkward. So what I'm actually making a mental note of right now is when this is lined up well and when the door is actually in place, this is more or less flush. So I'm going to make a note of that uh, just sort of mentally. All right, so now we've obviously got our notch right here. It's going to be a little awkward to do from around the camera, but we're going to go ahead and slot this in. So that actually sits right there in the frame of the door. Now, we're gonna try to get that alignment just about perfect. Should be pretty good. A little off and we'll go ahead and mark it. All right, so for our pilot holes, we're gonna wanna pick something that's relatively close in size to the actual screw itself. Uh, we're gonna wanna go a little bit smaller, obviously, and I'll probably, whoops. All right, cool, looks pretty good. All right, now I will say right now, uh, the screw is having a little bit more resistance than I wanted, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually up the size of the pilot. And yeah, this is why, my friends, you use impact bits. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really, it's really falling apart. All right, problem. This is too thick. <laughs> this door's relatively tight, so it's got to be pretty flush. Um, you know, in all honesty, we're, we're using screws that I think should be pretty compatible, but I think it's just a little bit too large. So we're going to have to go ahead and take a little bit of this out. I'm not super surprised by that. Uh, I'll go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so we're back. Everything is put in place. This screw actually looks a little bit more shallow than it could be. It could go a little bit deeper, I think. Uh, I actually did have to cut into the trim a little bit more. You might see it has some exposed wood now instead of painted. You know, screws. Okay, yeah, I mean, I, I had them, so it's not a big deal. I think that's noteworthy. But let's shut the door and let's just try pulling on it and see how it goes. Let's put it in the locked position right there. Right against the door. Not really much give whatsoever, which is awesome. And it's right underneath the doorknob. And right now, the deadbolt is not secure. Deadbolt, I should say, deadbolt. And I'm pulling on it. Uh, it looks like it's actually slightly angled, which <laughs> I oh there we go. Okay, so it just it just moved back into place. Now it's pretty well aligned. Um, locking mechanism, like I said, only thing I would change. Probably gonna want to take a look at that. Looks like it might be a little tight in that corner, which is why it's catching. So I will probably have to modify this a little bit more. But uh, if you do everything perfectly in the first try, uh, are you even doing DIY? You know, <laughs> Let's be honest, uh, you're, I don't know. Usually takes a couple of tries, but you know what? With uh, this oscillating tool, with a chisel, a hammer, a drill, an impact driver, pretty easy to figure out. I kind of like knowing that that's on there. Now, would I put it way up high? No, I would not, okay? I, I, I think this is a great location for it. Again, if someone's going to be trying to kick the door down or something like that, and yeah, that does need to be trimmed a little bit more, um, but I digress. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> I know you can't see how hard, how hard I'm trying to open this thing. It's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere at all. Um, now I weigh about 225 pounds and man, I mean, let's, let's see here. I'm putting both hands on it, trying to pull it. <laughs> Literally nothing. <laughs> Literally nothing. The deadbolt's not activated. The doorknob is, you know, not, not great. Um, that thing is, that thing is pulling its weight more than pulling its weight. And this was 10 bucks. Um, um, it's easy to unlock. So that's also noteworthy and it stays out of the way of the door. So that's nice. It's easy to lock too. Uh, in conclusion, do I think this is a good value for ten dollars? I'm gonna be honest. I, I actually think it is. Um, good value, kind of fits seamlessly in there. Once I paint that, sand that down a little bit more, that's actually gonna look really nice. Uh, I need a little bit more clearance on the bottom, but it's actually pretty flush, considering I did all of that just kind of by eyeing it. 
and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm satisfied. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. Check it out. By the way, just as a close, if you really want to get divorced, don't vacuum after DIY project. If you like your marriage, make sure you clean up.